and it's the same reason that MMA and boxing are popping off so hard. It's an individual sport. Team sports are cool, and there's a lot of value to that. You know, you have like X amount more chances to like a player on the team, but there's something about following one man's journey through it all, Real. and that's what fighting games bring to the table. So let's see as we follow to Buzz and Abe Zura or Abe Zura's journey through this singles bracket. Dealing with Luma immediately here, finally gonna get the knockoff and take that star off the map to Buzz. Kind of playing a platform campy game here early. Kind of wants to see how Abe Zura wants to approach this. Just such a standstill at the beginning of this match. Kind of signature play for DeBuzz, right? He won't go in if he doesn't have to, but uh, we've had the conversation so many times over the years. He's not really as campy as he lets on, right? When, right, yeah, When DeBuzz turns it. the heat on, he can definitely make a lot of magic happen. So right now, I feel like they're just feeling each other out, trying to get a sense for the game plan overall. But DeBuzz finding this opening. Turns a juggle into a ledge trap, and let's see how much further he can take it. Oh, no, not at all, as Luma's going to go out, and now it's just up to Rosalina to dodge his killing machine. Jumping away for it here, too. Obvious game plan, wants to be able to use Luma as the wall in between. Spacing out this time, finally the star is back in the show. Dancing around here, though, the reflector, wow. okay. <laughs> That's a very rarely seen option in this matchup, I would guess. Like, star bits are far from the most threatening projectile. Real. You generally don't want to go for that reflector kick if you don't have to, I feel like. I, I don't see Kazuya players throw it out in neutral, except for that purpose. Ooh, it's hard to get in here, too. You see Abe Zura absolutely working around Luma, and DeBuzz able to strike as soon as the approach option is a little too risky from Abe Zura. Okay, the vertical chase down yet again. DeBuzz looking for this juggle. Instead, Abe Zura just going to reset to the ledge. He's got Rage Drive, though. Ah, uh, well, he had Rage Drive. Real, yeah. Ooh, didn't get the turnaround. Trying to catch the buzz on the landing here, too. Still first stock for both players, but... I mean, honestly, both of them are a kill percent here. Yeah, for real. I think there's a lot of ways Kazuya could scam Rosa, even without an elaborate combo setup. Wow, just the outer hit of the oh. neutral air, but Luma to the rescue before the platform tech chase comes into play. What, what a grab. What, so what an air dodge. The up to get rid of Luma. We're off stage here, too. If we make it back, it could be all worth it. The air dodge. No, the wow. not get the fair. Wow, oh my the gosh. stagger off the side B. First stock goes to Abe Zura against the odds here. And I feel like those options out of disadvantage, that super early air dodge, I'm shocked the buzz didn't clip that. 100%, my friend. Trying to go deep here, too. Still alive. Luma online once again, of course. But the buzz playing so conservatively here too, does not want to get caught approaching, wants to let Luma do all the dirty work there too, and as I was saying it, as soon as the approach on Luma gets too risky, DeBuzz is not afraid to pull the trigger. We're already three minutes deep into this match script, I'm kind of surprised. It's really been moving at a snail's pace, but you yeah. can tell why. The price for getting hit by either of these characters is huge. And wow, Kazuya too heavy to get comboed again, that's like the third time we've seen that happen with a character. Running it down here too, trying to get under the buzz, but does not have the speed to be able to do so. Up be here to the crouch, just trying to keep it ambiguous. The buzz holding soft advantage in the corner. Oh, just trying to find his way down to the ground. Okay, both hits of Nair. Gonna combo that right into down air. And now this edge guard is a very realistic possibility. No, once again, the air dodge to the ledge keeps Abe Zero alive here. Yeah, really good air dodges so far. Not gonna find the immediate conversion off Wuma. Raise drive online. Playing around the star bits, though, to buzz. Line in the sand. This is a not the same I've seen a lot of his Rosa play before. He usually wants to use Luma for the conversions, but trying to sacrifice Luma, it feels like every single time it's on the board. Yeah, sometimes you just need that stunt double, right? Real. Yeah, you go ahead and do the motorcycle crash scene. <laughs> I'll be chilling for the glamour shots afterward. Oh, the up over. Not going to get the kill on it yet, but that will. Looking for these up airs from underneath. We talked about it before. That's such a damn good move yeah. for Kazuya. Oh, and risking it all right there. I mean, you only get a couple attempts with that, right? Every time you use it, the threshold to knock Kazuya out of Rage Drive goes down. So Abe Zero saying, okay, either I'm really confident that this one's going to hit, or I'm really confident that I'm not going to get hit <laughs> above the percent that's going to take it away from me. High risk, high reward. The buzz, I mean, does not want to deal with this cause yet. Oh my friend, this is crazy. Well, and there it is, gone at 126 after two whiffed attempts. Would have had that for a little bit longer here, but now you got to get it done the hard way. 
And to Buzz, you can tell, this man is trying. He's sweating. This is still pools, keep in mind. Yeah. This is winner semis of the pool. I believe the winner will proceed to the next phase. So Ooh. he knows Ape Zura has to be pretty good for him to have gotten this far. And compliments to Ape Zura for being able to play this game plan around the buzz too, not giving up a single inch. There's a minute 47 left on the clock here for this game. There's still two stocks on each. Okay, trying to go for you know, some 10-hit shenanigans. Not going to get the pop-up as high as necessary for that down air. This is terrifying, yes, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I feel like if an electric came out right there, he would have invincible through Rose's landing aerial. Oh my goodness. Get this Luma out of my face, please. Star shot coming over here, too. Not going to hold the jabs, but going wow. to trace Luma right under. Finally, a stock lost. Phenomenal aim there by DeBuzz. Just getting Luma facing the right way, in the exact right space, and for the kill all at the same time. And now, this juggle game coming into play once more. That's really been the biggest thorn in Ape Zura's side, is getting down to the ground. is yeah. not great in that department. Ooh, not gonna catch the tech roll. I think DeBuzz wanted, and maybe he also wanted to get behind Luma again as well there too. Does not want to be without the bodyguard. Just platform camping straight up. DeBuzz going from left to right. Yep, <laughs> he knows. 43 seconds, if that's all I he have to run away for. There's not even enough time on the clock for Kazuya to end my two stocks here. So I'd say go for it, man. Play for the timeout. This is one of those characters where I endorse it every single time. Not just because I hate him, but also because <laughs> he's completely terrifying to fight. Yeah, you can definitely see the, you know, anxious energy kind of setting in for Ape Zura. Ape Zura has to do something here. Down air coming in to break it up. Not going to get rid of Luma immediately. That might have been a misplay there. Taking as much time off the stage as possible. The Buzz happy to just take every bit of invincibility that can be given. Off stage here, not going to convert to the fair. Oh, but the down air will send off the side with five seconds left on the clock. The Buzz seals out that game one. Damn, that was that was a grind of a game one. The thing was, whoever took that second stock was in phenomenal shape. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Yeah, and to think that that could have been Abe Zura had he just connected his Rage Drive. Yeah. Kazuya doesn't exactly have the tools to run away the same way that Rosalina does, right? Because you protect yourself from so many angles with moves like Neutral Air. You got a lot to think about on the screen. But Rosa doesn't have the tools to chase yeah. really many characters down at all. So if he had played for the timeout, Abe Zura that is, I'm very interested as to what that would have looked like. But you know what? Another thing I want to commend him on is that he didn't cave. No. Right? When the Buzz started will. playing this this timeout game, uh, Abe Zura didn't flinch whatsoever. He was just like, "Yeah, we're gonna keep it rolling. I'm gonna take my time approaching you. I'm gonna like take some some gambles on my rage drive attempts, but nothing too crazy." Does this kind of feel like some vintage to Buzz right now? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. And I don't. I, I think DeBuzz is a changed man, right? Like he I don't think he's the same defensive player that he used to be in a good way. Like he can still do that, but I think he's kind of like gotten more comfortable with his own aggression and his offensive yeah. game plan that he doesn't use it as a crutch as much. But in a matchup like this, hey man, let it rip. Sometimes it feels like you have to do it. Hollow Bastion will be the pick once again. Super popular here for all these game twos we've seen, and I'm interested to see if Ape Zura will eventually find that situation again where DeBuzz is forced to camp, but the aggression seems to be a lot more here in this game, too, for DeBuzz. Yeah, it all comes down to if he gets that initial hit, right? Because once the buzz pops you up, oh my god, he's not the buzz anymore. That's like, uh, I don't know, the Zodiac Killer or something. <laughs> Dude is just all over. And now we have Abe Zura trailing about 30%. He's going to just run his head into the wall a few times, maybe get those star bits, uh, racking up damage on him, something like that. And this is where it goes downhill. If you play a character that's not very well suited to approach Rosalina, the buzz can put you on ice forever. Real. And like that's kind of what happens here, too. Is we're seeing the Luma just being played at like five or six character lengths away. You cannot approach the jump over. Like Kazuya's jump squat doesn't allow you to move as quickly as damn near any other character on the roster trying to get the run in electric, but no. Up air, no. Just looking for the landing trap. Would like to see maybe some crouch dash approaches too, I just feel. to like eat through moves and hitboxes from Rosalina, but a lot of them are fairly active, especially Starbits. I'll go out on a limb here and say this might be the matchup that Starbits is the best in in the whole game. Maybe like Ganondorf, I don't know. But <laughs> right. It does stop Kazuya in his tracks quite effectively. Ooh, 
up e, not going to kill off the top. It's such a strong move. Oh, dash attack, putting the leg down. Gonna go up again for it, too. This is still a, you know, even stocked game here. Up e is gonna send Luma off the stage. Gonna get the dive off. Abe Zura takes first stock. Wow. This iron will is starting to pay off. Yeah, that is huge for him. And I really commend him for being able to match to Buzz's patience, not rush into things. And he kept his double jump and his air dodge that whole time. Love the recovery mix-ups here. This is a good Kazuya, man. I want to know where this guy is from no, because he's, he's impressing me. Even if he loses the set 2-0, the fact that he's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Buzz in this kind of style war, very impressive. Let the lasers fly, why not? We're seeing the Buzz throw all these projectiles out too, you got it. Oh, not gonna get the platform tech chase, get up attack, seems to be a good option in that situation when the first tech doesn't come out. That counterplay from the Buzz though. Yeah, oh, hold on, sneaks underneath the, with the electric, but no platform underneath, so there's no way to extend that. Just gonna take the raw damage off the up B. And now this is turning into a real scramble to yep. Buzz. You can tell he's feeling the pressure. When he had the lead, he was comfortable. Just chilling, you know, trying to continue to draw that line in the sand with Luma. But now he has to be on the aggressive against a character that punishes you so hard for any mistake. Great catch on that jump there out of the corner. DeBuzz wants to keep it going. Low back here is not going to connect. But still, rinse and repeat will keep the soft advantage. The hesitation because of the laser. Great stall right there from Abe Zerla. Uh -oh. oh, that's scary, oh, no. that's scary. And now DeBuzz is back in the lead. And even though it's only by 4%, it still matters so much. It sends that subtle message. You have to come to me. Oh, but hold on. Goodbye, Luma. Now I've got a solo Rosalina with the percent deficit. Having to get off the ledge. Missed ledge trap attempt, but it doesn't matter. The jab will pick it right back up. Trying to catch with these lasers, the buzz ready for it. Trying to stall as much as possible off stage, going low to get Luma back. Dash attack though from Abe Zura seems to be an option that we're getting. If Luma and Rosa are close to each other, to use it for breakup. Oh, oh no! Yeah. And goes for the down B attempt right there. Oh wow! The parry into what is going on? Fully charged Luma shot, almost killing. Okay, Abe Zura, you got to either make use of this rage drive or just play extremely carefully. Wow. Oh, wow, wow the raw the dash drop. attack, he had a shield up! Oh, gonna get oh, the up is, is Luma dead? Yes. Wait, he just edge dodged Luma. <laughs> <laughs> and the down B! Oh my god, Abe Zura on the verge of taking a game here. If he just gets the rage drive right now, he could get a ton of extra credit. And, and you saw the buzz feeling flustered out of his seat during that stock loss. Dude, 132, he missed an attempt oh, and he still didn't use it. God, there it is, 85. 86%. Up the off the top! No shot! Ape Zero 1-1 one, one with the buzz! Bro, who is this guy? Seriously, tweet tweet at me. Who is Ape I Zero? Need, I need stats, please. I'm dying for these numbers. Oh my gosh. The, just the the where with the gall and the gumption just to stand in front of the buzz, knowing you can't approach when the Luma's this far. You can approach when Luma's stacked on top of Rosa. My goodness, this is crazy. I am frantically refreshing my notifications. I really have to know who this guy is. My guess is that he's from like a part of the country that doesn't have as much exposure, you know, but still has some good players. I'm thinking like somewhere in the Southeast, but not Georgia, not Florida. Like, yeah. A little, little more towards the heart of the country than that. But these, these we'll games see. Are, these games are crazy. They're so long, but they don't feel long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, they're intense. Yeah, you know intense. what I'm saying? Like. Uh, oh, he's from Chicago. Thank you to Matt, one of my uh, Smash 4 brethren, brethren, let's call it. Shout out Best to the Best Olimar Smash in Smash brothers. 4. <laughs> Where the uh, Pikmin explode like C4s. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come a long way from the start of this set, my friend. Final game here in this best of three. Phase one pools. The level of competition, yeah. you said it at the start of the block, Max. I did. The level of competition is crazy at SmashCon. Bro, it's just overall, right? Like anyone who's still playing Ultimate and going to a tournament or even logging into Elite Smash after five years, you gotta be pretty solid. You have to have earned your keep. And I think another thing that's impressing me equally to how well he's able to keep up with the Buzz's patient gameplay is his knowledge of this matchup. Rosalinas are not a uh, common character. Yeah, real. Oh, going high there too. Oh. Very early stock from DeBuzz. And we are on cruise control now. This will be the ultimate test for Abe Zora and how much you can get through that wall and how consistent you can stay with the game plan. Hey, DeBuzz, he's a nice guy, man. He'll let you have one game. But that's it. He's down to share. He's not down to give it away. Real. The buzz jumping around here too. 
Taking Battlefield to definitely get away from Kazuya. Not going to be able to chase as much and get that Luma back much more safely. Wait, what? Luma looked like it rebounded off of nothing right there. Maybe there was a hitbox. Maybe Kazuya was like doing an air or something. I don't know. That, that was just very strange. It looked like it connected and did the bounce off. I'm not going to ask too many questions. Oh, 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 scary. I thought we were going to get even more damage there from the buzz, but Ibs are able to sneak a trade in there. Now he has Rage Drive once again. I mean, there is kind of a path to victory from this position. You got to deal some damage, kill with the Rage Drive, and then land a death combo. But I just don't know if all those things are going to add up before you take another 40%, and at, at this point, 20%. Yeah, it's a tall order versus DeBuzz as well, too. One, you have so few options to get in, but we take them when we find them. 87 after the tick on Blast Zone, looking for scoop on up B. Ibzura not going to find it. That almost killed at 40%. It did. It like, really did. Can, can we just talk about that for a second? No? Okay. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> talk about that down air, though. DeBuzz letting it linger under that stage at the perfect time. Yeah, sending Kazuya back to where he came from, the bottom of a volcano. Now, how do you make it back from this? You're down two whole stocks. Kazuya is one of those characters where sometimes it feels like it's never over, but these odds against a character and a player of this nature, where he's just going to chill as hard as he can, disengage, not get his hands too dirty. Yeah, I don't know. This one might be Jover. Popping him up with the up air. Yeah, Battlefield also just a great stage for Rosalina, for Tabuz's style in general. I, I will point to those juggles as the consistent thing that has kept the buzz so strong. You know, you might think it's his defense, but his advantage state is impeccable. Landing here, too. That hit sounded hard on Kazuya. He definitely felt that one. The down air. We are dead. A three stock from the buzz and a very silent ending to what was an extremely loud and explosive set between these two players. Wow. Really well played. Dude, I feel like. I don't even know. I have whiplash from that, right? Because right. the first two games were so long and drawn out, and they went both ways. And then to Buzz closes it out with the three stock in three minutes? Yeah. Uh, it just doesn't feel thematically accurate. Right. I need a better ending. We need cannon. Yeah, that was a Game of Thrones ass set right there. Oh, he's tall too. You see, he's, oh, yeah. He's a tall guy. Oh, my goodness. Very fun, though, too. Definitely somebody to keep on the radar as well. That will be an absolute monster through losers. Making an upset, as I said already, on number 10 in Alabama was Abe Zura. Now just playing yeah. extremely well on stream versus one of the best we have to offer. Hey, I'll keep it a stack. Is that even an upset? I don't know where Abe Zura falls in the, the rankings of Chicago players, but how many Chicago players have taken a game wasn't off top, the bus? Wasn't top four in the pool. Right. Crazy. Right. Oh, yeah. An upset within the scheme of the seeding for the tournament, for sure. Yes. That is, that is absolutely correct. But man, Abe Zura, I, I like the Kazuya, bro. I think uh, I like that. You know, you just run into some more favorable matchups, and you're going to be doing good. I, I would not be shocked to see him make the bracket, or at least make it to the next phase of pools. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure how it's structured here, but guys, thank you so much for watching. We still got one last set coming up for you before Script and I take our leave.